Composer Home Edition, or Composer HE, is for users who want to modify some settings that shouldn't require an installer. Composer HE, which runs in Windows, makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with a button tap, and more. If you haven't done so yet, please view the Composer HE Features and Overview and Composer HE Basics videos before you use Composer HE. As a precaution, Composer HE lets you change some settings in your system, but it does involve some risk for which you must assume responsibility. There's a chance you could disable your system if you change some settings or program your devices incorrectly. If this happens, contact your dealer. This video assumes that Composer HE is installed on your computer. If not, check with your dealer or see Composer HE Getting Started on the Control 4 Owners website. With Composer HE open, I'll click on the Agents button to open the Agents view. Before you work with Agents, you'll need to add these agents to your project. Just click Add in the Agents pane, select the agent to add, and then click OK. In this video, I've already added agents to my project. As you can see, they both appear in the Agents pane just below the Add button. You only add agents you'll be using in your programs. The objective and scenario in this video is to create and send out an announcement and email notification that the kids need to go to bed if the TV went on after 10 p.m. I'm working late at the office and my spouse is asleep. The announcement will display on various touch screens in the house and I'll get the email at my office. You can use the announcements agent to play a pre-recorded WAV file or display a text message whenever something occurs in programming. An audio announcement, for example, can play on any audio output device in selected rooms, and a supporting text message or standalone text message can display on navigators in the rooms you choose. You can use the email notification agent to send a text message to your smartphone via SMS. This is the best and fastest method. Or send email messages to your email address when specific events occur in programming. For example, if you want to know when the garage door opens or when someone unlocks the door, the system can send you a text message quickly of the occurrence. I'll also be using the scheduler agent, but I won't need to do anything in the agents view to set that up. I can do it all in the programming view. Now I'll create the announcements and email notification agents. I'll click on the announcements agent in the list and then click new. In the box, I'll name the announcement time for bed and click create. I'll check Display Navigator Text Image Pop-up. I want to add an image that displays in my navigator, so I'll click Edit Text Image. I'll click Add and choose the image I want. I'll click Add Remove and add the touch screens on which I want the Time for Bed announcement to display. An easy way to test the announcement is to click Execute. I'll see a photo on the navigator with the announcement text. Here's a tip. You'll need to check Display Navigator or Play Audio for the announcement to work. Next, I'll go to the email notification agent and set up to have a notification sent to my email address that the kids are still up and watching TV. I'll click the email notification agent in the agents list and click add. In the new template name box, I'll type a name for this template called the kids are not in bed yet and click create. I'll add the SMS address for a text message, for example, 801-555-1212 at vtext.com. Subject and add the body text. 
I can test it by clicking Send Email. When I'm finished, I'll click Save. Here's a tip. If you add the SMS gateway information to your email, you can then have the agent send a text to your smartphone, which is a much better alert than having to check email. Now I'll click on the programming button and then show you how to create a simple program that will post an announcement on the touch screen in the family room for the kids and send me an email that the kids are still watching TV. In the device events pane on the left side, I'm going to scroll down and select the room where the TV is. I'll scroll down and check Video Selection Changed. The statement, when the video selection changes, appears in the script pane. The next few steps involve adding actions, so I'll go over to the Device Actions pane and select what I want the system to do. First, I'll click the Scheduler. In the Conditions tab, I'll select the time and interim that I want. This is between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m., so the script says, if time is between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m., I'll drag that script to the script pane. Now I'll select the days I want the announcement and notification to execute which is during the week when the kids have school the next day. In the scheduler, I'll check Days and check Monday through Thursday. I'll drag the script that says If Day of the Week is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday to the script pane. Next, I want to add the announcement, so I'll go back up the tree in Actions, in Device Actions, and select Announcement and then Time for Bed in the Commands tab. I'll drag the statement Execute Announcement Time for Bed to the script pane. Finally, I want to add the email notification, so I'll select Email Notification in the Project Tree Template drop-down list. I'll select The Kids Are Not in Bed Yet. You'll see the statement Email Notification with Subject as Kids and drag it to the script pane. Now it's your turn to create a program using these agents. If you make a mistake, you can always delete script lines, choose not to back up your project, or not save the Composer HE session with the program you've created. Be aware, however, if you do this, any changes you've made will not be saved.